Today we're going to try to recalibrate the speedometer on a 2019 F250 for larger tires. And we're going to try and do this with as-built data and Forescan for free. Now this truck came from the factory with a 275-65-18 tire. And that's a standard size tire on an F150, but it's kind of a small tire for an F250 or a three-quarter ton truck. The customer stepped the truck up to a 20 inch rim and along with that a 275 65 20 inch tire. The stock tire was a 32.1 inch diameter and it needed about 629 revolutions per mile. The new tire is a 34.1 inch diameter and it needs about 592 revolutions per mile. The circumference of the original tire was 100.79 inches and the circumference of the new tire is 107.07 inches. That's about a 6% increase in the circumference of the tire. Now that should cause the speedometer to be off about 6% as well. On the 2015 and newer F-150 and the 2017 and newer F-250, the aluminum body trucks, you can change the tire size in the Asphalt Data in the Body Control Module or BCM. If you've never heard of Asphalt Data, it's really nothing more than configuration data for different modules on the vehicle. Instead of building 20 different modules, each configured differently for different tire sizes, axle ratios, etc., they'll just build one module and then they'll configure it for the vehicle using Asphalt Data. Asphalt Data consists of hexadecimal codes that are stored in the module. Usually these are converted to binary, zeros and ones, where the zeros represent off and the ones represent on for different features. In this way, different modules can be configured for different features, such as auto lock can be turned off or on, or daytime running lamps. Uh, different menus can be added to the instrument cluster. Sometimes the hexadecimal codes of the Asphalt data is converted to decimals instead of binary, and then it's sometimes used for calculations, such as what we're going to be looking at today for tire size. All Asphalt data starts with a three-part address. The address we're going to be looking at today for the tire size is 726 dash 12 dash 01. The first number indicates the module and 726 is the body control module or BCM. The second number is the block number inside that module where the data is stored. In this case it's block 12. And then the final number, the 01, is the line number within that block where the data is stored. We're going to be using Forescan today to modify the Asphalt data. Now somewhere online I know I've seen where someone said that they thought the Asphalt data we're changing here today is the circumference of the tire in millimeters times 0.97 or 97 percent. I'm not sure that that's what I really believe this number is, but whatever it is, it's a number that's used in the mathematical calculation for the speed of the vehicle, and changing it definitely does change the speedometer's reading. That being said, calculating it that way, it usually does come out pretty close to what you need that number to be for the tire size you're running. The line we're looking at has three blocks of four character long hexadecimals. The one we're looking for on that line 726-12-01 is the middle one, and I believe it's 09AC right now. A hexadecimal of 09AC converts to a decimal of 2476, which is just about the diameter in millimeters of a 32 inch tire. Now one thing I should mention, I have heard that you can cause a check engine light if you go too far with this. So I usually stay a little bit to the moderate side when I'm changing these. We're putting a 34 inch tire on today, but I'm going to try changing it to about a 33 and we're going to see what the speedometer reads and if it's close we're probably going to live with it just to ensure that we don't have any check engine light issues. So the circumference of a 33 inch tire measured in millimeters and then multiplied by 0 0.97 equals 2559 and if we convert that to hexadecimal it's going to be 09 FF. So let's take the vehicle for an actual drive and see how far the speedometer is off. So it looks like at about 50 miles an hour the speedometer is reading around 48. Let's try and run it on up to 60 here and see what it reads. Okay, it's 60 miles an hour. It looks like the speedometer is reading about 57. So if you've never used Forescan, this is it. We're going to start out by reading all the modules on the vehicle and reading the vehicle data. This should take about 20 seconds.
as soon as this finishes, we are going to click on the one, two, three, four, sixth icon down on the left side of the page. It looks like a little computer chip. That is where we go for the Aspel data. All right, so we're going to select Aspel data for the body control module. And then we're going to click the Run button. Now it's going to read what, uh, what Aspel data is in all those storage blocks. And I believe there is 74 different locations it's going to have to read there. Okay, and there is the Aspel data for the body control module. And we're going to need to scroll down that list until we get to line 726-12-01. That's the line that has the information we're looking for about the tire size. And then we are going to change the middle block to the 09FF we calculated earlier. Now the last two characters of any line of Aspel data is called the checksum. That is a hexadecimal set that is calculated by adding all of the line together, including the line address. Anytime you make a change in a line of Asbel data, the, the checksum will have to be changed. Now, I believe Forescan will automatically calculate the checksum for you if you just click the right button after making a change in a line of Asbel data. And I calculated what the checksum would be for this line earlier today using Asbel Explorer, just because I wanted to have the line done and ready to go. So we've already clicked the right button, and the only thing really left to do is to drive the vehicle and see what the speedometer reads. Okay, so far we're looking pretty close. Sixty looks just about spot on. Now I usually check speedometers at sixty miles per hour, and that probably goes back to the nineties before GPS and smartphones. We used to check speedometers for calibration by finding a highway with mile markers on it and running sixty miles per hour down it, and using a stopwatch with a second hand. Sixty seconds exactly should put you between two mile markers along a highway. And if it was, you know, 62 seconds, it was 2 miles per hour off. Or if it was 58, it was 2 miles per hour off the other way. It looks like we are just a smidge off at 65. Uh, what, maybe 1 mile per hour or thereabouts? But still, it's pretty close. It's definitely better than it was. And I would consider that acceptable. So the last thing I want to do now that we've changed the Aspel data and driven the vehicle is I want to check it and make sure there aren't any new codes or DTCs in any of the computer modules. So we're going to go back and retest the system. Okay, and I don't believe we have any new codes. There is a couple of uh, networking codes in the system, but I believe these were here before we did anything in it. Anyone who's familiar with working on newer vehicles, it seems like there's always codes in them for something. It's not necessarily a problem or an issue, and I don't think these are related to anything we were doing. I believe they were there before. If you found this helpful, please click the like button down below. If you played around with this, ran into any issues like check engine lights or uh, anything else, uh, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below, so please let me know. Uh, we're trying to come out with new videos every Monday, so please subscribe. And as always, have a great week.